a new challenger is introduced in today's versus video. Let's see if OLED can compete with the ATW Polarizer from LG and also versus the mini LED powerhouse of the Neo G8. Hi friends and welcome to Victor's Reality. Today we have the LG 27GR95QE 240Hz OLED Masterpiece versus LG's own 32GQ950 32-inch Nano IPS has never looked so good. Also we have it versus the Samsung Odyssey Neo G8 Mini LED Powerhouse. Getting right into it friends, I will be slowing down and pausing the video from time to time to better showcase all three monitors to help you make that awesome buying decision. Now in the LG OLED, we do have this on vivid mode, which is the brightest mode on the monitor. And as you can see throughout this whole video, from time to time, the OLED really shines through and gives the two other monitors a run for their money. Every single scene that you see here is self-explanatory. Now the LG OLED can hover between 150 nits all the way up to 400 on any given scene while the LG Nano IPS hovers at 450 nits all the time. So it's a steady experience with no ABL kicking in at any time. And with the Odyssey Neo G8, with that true local dimming power, even with contrast enhancer on, looks amazing with the highlights, but at times suffers to about 350 nits when you compare it to the LG IPS. You'll be able to see that in today's video, friends. What I'm introducing today is to see how this OLED can fare against these two amazing monitors. These are all top-of-the-line monitors on the market today. And mostly all the time, the LG OLED's colors just look amazing and really do look a step above the other two monitors. But no one can deny that brightness power of the Neo G8. Though, the LG Nano IPS is the best monitor for work and play. It's built like a tank in that 32-inch size, with the amazing wide viewing angles with those 32 zones. 16 top, 16 bottom really make it a well-versatile monitor for a variety of things, while the Odyssey Neo G8 is a purely gaming monitor. As you can see with that curve and those amazing peak highlights, your single-player games will look amazing. I mean, anything looks good on it. And that's why I love showing Persona 5, showcasing these three amazing monitors. And with the worst and best case scenario on each monitor, the LG OLED loses in a full white screen brightness scene. Anything when there's a lot of white light colors, daytime skies, big bright blotchy colors. For example, in this scene, when the traffic is gone and it's a whole white screen, you can easily see the LG OLED just suffers. And that's unfortunate with OLED technology. While the LG 32GQ950 just looks the most uniform while still retaining the brightness and color. And yes, the Odyssey Neo G8 does suffer here. Its ABL is kicking in and you can see it's lower in brightness versus the IPS Nano. One thing I have noticed on the LG OLED, especially the scene with the eye, you can see it's still dimmer. Now in the last scene, there was a lot of white, so it's understandable for it to be dim. When there's a transition to a different kind of scene, I would say more dark areas, right? Not full white screen. The monitor does tend to slowly ramp up. When I'm freeze framing it, I can see it. And this scene should be technically brighter, but I can tell it's slowly ramping up. And then when we get to the transitions of the characters, it goes back to normal and gives the other two monitors a run for their money. It's really hard to see in person, but when I freeze frame it, and that's why I'm showing you here, these small details, it's easily seen. Now with this scene, it looks like the LG OLED has caught up a bit in terms of brightness. Remember, a good reference from this whole scene that we're seeing here, the top right LG Nano IPS is a set 450 nits, while the LG OLED on the bottom, it hovers between 150 to 400 nits. And on the Neo G8, it hovers between 350 to over 1000 nits with that peak highlight power with contrast enhancer on. There's a variety of scenes that you will see the Neo G8 with its contrast enhancer and mini LED power just overpower the other monitors. And as this is a versus video, I always say, when you find that perfect monitor, you should be 100% content with what you have. From the overall build design, to the quality of what you're seeing. Especially in this dance section, these displays are not just materials that you put on a desk. The quality of these monitors open new worlds to what you're seeing, and at the same time, should make you love your content all over again. It's really hard to say who wins today, or if ever, in any versus video, one truly wins, because none of them really truly destroy the other technology. There are advantages, but one never runs away with it. You can see with these scenes, the LG OLED truly gives them a run for their money. And with this character walking under the train, look at the top left with the Neo G8. The contrast enhancer is really showing its power, brightening up all the back lighting and the character's face. While the LG Nano IPS is all uniform. Remember, there's only 32 zones, 16 top, 16 bottom on the LG Nano. But look at the LG OLED. There's just much more detail everywhere. While me personally, I would prefer the Neo G8's image. But from all three, the LG OLED is the most accurate as nothing is blowing out anything. The Neo G7 and 8 give you that impactful picture that no other monitor can currently give you. While the LG OLED is super clear, and in scenes like this when there's not a lot of white, 
it really is breathtaking with that infinity contrast. But the LG Nano IPS looks really good too. And as you've seen in this video, it's the most uniform in brightness overall. But these monitors truly make you feel that next generation has finally arrived. With the infinity contrast of the LG OLED, to the amazing peak highlights of the Odyssey Neo G8, to the awesome versatile, steady brightness of the Nano IPS on the LG 32GQ950, these are the three best monitors on the market today. So if you're interested in these three, you probably have one of the hardest decisions to make, as each offers something different that the other can't quite match. It's just really amazing to see in 2023, finally, OLED technology on a 27-inch form factor. And they're only going to get better from here, friends. Heat sinks, voltage regulations, I'm sure Gen 2, which will be brighter, 32-inch sizes, and then, of course, that 4K that everybody wants. And hopefully, they can give us more options on the screen coding. Friends, this is the Versus video. VA Mini LED versus the ATW IPS Nano versus the amazing LG OLED LG 27GR 95QE. To me, friends, this is a three-way tie. Each monitor gives you something special, and it's up to you to decide and pick the monitor that just gives you that edge that you're expecting. So friends, if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button so more people can see it to help them make that awesome buying decision. Consider subscribing if you want more information on all these three amazing monitors, the Samsung Odyssey Neo G8, the LG 32GQ950, IPS Nano, and the amazing LG OLED, the 27GR95QE. Thanks for watching, friends. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys next time.